What's up y'all, Chris Singleton here. In today's YouTube video, I'm gonna give you guys some more of the good, the bad, and the ugly real estate. But this time I'm back at my personal home. Check it out. Okay, so in the first video, man, uh, of our house tour, we showed you like the inside, part two of the house tour, we showed you guys the outside area. Uh, but we changed some things up out here. So first we're gonna tell you about what we did, and then after that, I'm gonna tell you about how all the stuff, how much everything costs, and where I went wrong. Okay, so the first thing we did, there used to be a big island right here. There was a big island. By the way, we didn't clean up for this YouTube video, just so y'all know, we just, just got done. And I'll tell you what we did. But used to have a huge island right here. It didn't make sense. We already had an island over there. We, then we had another island over here. So we basically said, let's get rid of that. So we got rid of this whole island area because we didn't need two sinks out here. We didn't need it. Uh, went to like, I think we went to Ashley Home Furniture Store or something like that to buy all the, this stuff. Actually, I, I lied. It was rooms to go outside because I think this cost me like six grand. And I was like, are you serious? Gotta pay six grand for a couch? That don't make no sense. I'm, it's gonna be rained on. I'm cheap at heart, but we paid six grand for this couch. Um, all this is a brand new deck area, right? All this is brand new. We used to have like small little benches outside um, and we got rid of that and put this brand new, uh, these brand new rails. We painted all this stuff again. So all this is, is pretty much brand new. Um, and so we had, this was not here as well. We, we, we put this down. Uh, this like ceiling right here, painted all white. Some people said we should have done blue, but I don't know. They said it keeps the bugs away. I'm still learning at this stuff, so maybe we'll paint, paint blue one day. Then we had, uh, we had a fan there, and you guys can see one of the fans is right here. We'll get into that in a second about why it's down here, not up there. But we got the fan, We've, we hung these two TVs, which is amazing. They're smart TVs, so they just hook up to our Wi-Fi, and uh, they play well. Uh, we got this sound bar, Samsung sound bar. We put this in. Um, none of this was here before. The pillars were here before, but none of this stuff was here before. So we literally did all this. Um, but it was without, it wasn't without hiccups, I should say. There's a lot of stuff that went wrong. And so that's what I want to tell you right now. So that's where we went wrong. We thought we'd spend $45,000, $50,000. That wasn't the case. So we came in. I mean, we, we took everything out. I was so proud. We got our permits, everything approved. HOA said we're good. And we completed it. It looked amazing. Then all of a sudden it started cracking in the ceiling. It started cracking all over the place. And we didn't know why. We're like, why is it cracking? And we said it has to be from water damage. We didn't know why it had water damage. Uh, but it just started doing it. Being the cheap person that I am, I said, we're not gonna get a new roof. Just, you know, whatever. Recalk it. We'll put some flex seal on top of the, the roof. And so of course I got out on top of the roof, started putting flex seal paint or whatever I was putting up there, thinking, okay, I saw the commercials. We're gonna be good to go. The guy was in a boat in the flex seal commercial, right? We should be good. Absolutely not. And so it started to rain again. And so when it rained, it blew out our fan. Our fan stopped working. Um, and then the ceiling started cracking even more from the water damage. And so we'd already paid 45, $46,000 for this. Plus like another, the TVs and all that stuff was another, the furniture was maybe another, you know, seven or eight grand, I don't even remember. But I'm thinking, man, this, this doesn't make sense. We spent all this money, now everything's breaking. So a quick real estate tip that I have for you, always start from the top to the bottom. You can't say, I'm gonna, I'll fix the roof later, I'll fix this later. No, if you don't fix the roof, it ruins everything else. And so uh, I thought I could get away with not fixing the roof. That wasn't true. So we had to come in and fix the roof. I think that was like four grand to put a brand new roof with like shingles or whatever they put on top of the roof to make it sustainable through any rainstorm, any hurricane, any weather. And then we had to repaint the ceiling, had to get a brand new fan. And uh, we're just finishing all that process again now. And so in total, this deck area cost us about $62,000. Um, and so that's about, $10,000, $12,000 over what I wanted to pay. And uh, at the end of the day, man, we got everything we wanted and did some, and everything works perfectly now. So I'm excited about that. But the, the biggest piece of advice I have for you guys, again, 
is work from the top down. Don't say, hey, I'll, I'll fix the floor. I'll get these amazing decorations. I'll get this awesome couch, these TVs. If you don't get the leaks figured out or whatever it is in the roof, everything is going down the drain, um, down the drain from water, you get it? But uh, that's what happened. And uh, hopefully you guys learn from that. I told you I'm giving the good, bad, and the ugly real estate. Thankfully though, I've got about $10,000 a month in net positive cash flow for my real estate. And uh, I don't really need that money. So what we do is, because we got an extra 10 grand every month, that can go towards some of our housing projects or some of the housing projects we do at our current home, making this our dream house. But hopefully this is a cool update. You guys saw part two. We got more updates coming on our house and a big secret about a magazine that we're gonna be on the cover of. But I can't say too much more than that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, share it. And uh, let's talk in the comments back and forth. God, love, peace. Oh, 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 oh,